Welcome everyone for hopefully the last update. So I wanted to check what's going on here in more detail in regards to the frequencies and such. So right now we are idling, we have power plugged in and we have this CPU set here, which of course in Linux you don't need a program for that. Most of this information you can just get from slash proc and slash this and such. So when we take a look here, I also record this for myself that I can verify these details. And so caches, mainboard and memory. And as you can see here, we have here channel dual. And we should also later check this numbers actually. When we take one out because I'm still wondering what we get here performance wise. So slot one. As you can see, these are identical modules, only different in the serial number and production week and year. Timings are the same. And graphics, 400 MHz core, 933 memory. So here is some benchmarking. Let's run this also. And we get here only 2.2 GHz. And on Linux we got more. So not sure how accurate that is. And we also get here scores for single and multi-threaded. Let's make some notes and take out the memory and see what we get then. And before we reboot, one last run of Cinebench. As it was idling right now quite a bit, so it's the usual Windows nonsense idle load. But let's see what's happening now. And this core speed there is somehow strange. Yeah, that whatever that is showing. Core speed here is hmm. We are two gigahertz. As I said, on Linux we get more. Maybe it's also something strange with Windows, by the way. Some super smart people on Reddit said performance mode. This is performance mode. When I press here FNQ, so this is silence, this is performance, so this was performance. Yeah, with this quiet mode, it switches down indeed, and with performance we get two point something, so not constant. So only shortly 2.2 and then 2. Point something. And again on Linux I got really more. So whatever this is showing, and this is also by prefer Linux, there we see much more real stuff on Windows. This is usually just showing something and you never can be sure what exactly they are showing. And you can also read the source and check what the code is really doing. Yeah, wonderful. No, it installed some German experience pack. Wonderful. Exactly what we wanted for benchmarks. Thank you very much, Windows. But anyway, I switched here. So now we get even less, but I switched here to um, quiet mode in the middle of the run. So let's do this once more. Actually, right now we get slightly more again, 2.4, but in the beginning we got 2.2 and then it scaled down to 2. Point a little bit. So yeah, this is really throttling quite quickly. And this is also max performance. So this is of course a problem with my Linux. I have everything under control. What I... Yeah, this is already better. Yes, even best. So what this is... I don't really expect any surprises. We've run this already multiple times. This was quite consistent in regards to this memory module or not. Again, this is not too bad. We have 456, I think this was in the range what we always got. Let me take out the memory, I should not forget it in there anyway. As this is a demo unit and with that I accidentally sent it back to Lenovo with my new stock of memory installed. Yeah, of course it has now an update, of course always an update. Wonderful. But anyway, even without updates before the results were always consistent. It's not yet changed anything. Just after this Windows update it appears to be 
slightly faster. This is still dual channel memory. By the way, did I mention that Windows is annoying? Anyway, um, the frequency was just a little bit higher, but of course all this dynamic scaling makes it really hard to benchmark like this, that each time something is changing, but right now we have 2.5. I'm not really sure if we ever had such high frequencies in Windows. I only had this in Linux before, this is really strange. Now it's slightly faster. Maybe Microsoft really fixed something. 2.4, 2.5. Maybe I should put it on an aircon though. Actually, now it really shows you in higher core speed. Before it was never showing such a core speed here in CPU set. But uh, let's see, is it. Uh, now we have 550 with dual channel memory. That is crazy. Okay, it's the fun of benchmarking in Windows. Yeah, now we really reached here over 3 gigahertz in the CPU set benchmark. Also, much higher numbers. Before we had 166, now we have 300. 79 and here we had 1300 multi-threaded now we have 1747 let's do that again we have 3.2 not even sure did I had such high numbers on Linux I think 380 now it's even slightly higher 381 and 1780. Okay, wonderful. Maybe in the future I will never benchmark in Windows again. And also one last Cinebench run. Just for the sake of consistent numbers. But this really could not have been just an update running because first of all I checked usually that there was no other CPU load and before it was always in Windows throttling down around 2 GHz and I already always wondered why that is lower than in Linux and now we are throttling here around 2.5 GHz so as far as I can see so far this Windows update really changed something 551, yeah that appears to be the new score for this and then let's also run the GL And we are getting 33.4, that is about what we had before. So GL did not change much with this update, but CPU we could even for consistency. Now that we are pre-warmed a little bit, run the CPU once more. Again, still higher before we always hit. And now it's two point. What are we finished? Yeah, we finished so 546 here. 551 hit before. Consistently higher now. Let's take out the second memory module and benchmark just for consistency. So the timings are still the same, that is what I was wondering about. And it says here, single instead of dual or what was written before here. So one more run of this test stuff here. Two point nine. What do we get now? One thousand seven hundred we had before. Oh no, it's still now we have similar values then what we had before. So this really increased. So before this Windows update this was only 166. After this Windows update this was 300 something, 81 or whatever. So now we have indeed slightly 
less with a single noses results obviously are more consistent so let's see what we are getting and we got 548 which is just what we had before just like our last result with dual channel memory just with dual channel memory before we peaked slightly higher but at least now the results make slightly more sense of course still a little bit annoying not only that windows is such a black box doing something but also that this new bios stuff and processor power management stuff became so complex that each time you run it you get other results just when the room temperature is slightly different then you already get something else and we got 27 so this is again consistent what we had before a week ago we had already this score 27 and this dual channel we got 33 already a week ago only that the last days the dual channel cpu score was lower on windows here at least for this strange windows reasons now after the windows update the cpu score is also as high as it should be yeah really strange results and why i usually don't use windows at least very good to see that now the results are more as they were expected to be so not too much to worry about there i only wish the vendors would have more bios options to control the configurable thermal design power some users may prefer less heat and less performance and some users may require the performance and don't care so much about the heat so it would be very nice to have actually a choice there for those values for users to customize it to their needs but that's it for today now we can work on the next things including the final conclusions for this lenovo amd ryzen thinkpad a485 and also continue with our regular programming series as usual i hope you enjoyed it and learned something and don't forget to share like and subscribe for the next videos to come i wonder a little bit does it on linux not clock lower then why is it by the way idle so much and still running at 2 gigahertz i'm pretty sure in linux it's clocking lower like 1.6 something well now it's clocking more down this is ridiculous why is it This really increases the base clock here. This is ridiculous. Now it's clocking down more. Hmm. Okay, I know why I'm not the greatest Windows fan. Actually, what is the result now then? But even with this setting right now, it's clocking to 2.5 gigahertz. As you probably saw in the other videos before, it was more like 2. Point something. It's the end of this run, so yeah, still 549, even one point higher with this medium setting there. You definitely want to run this also in this setting. As you've seen a minute ago, this best performance increases the base clock and thus keeps your laptop warmer here, yeah, 1.5 instead of 2 gigahertz with this setting. So I just realized these are probably the here, there and there, left and right, are probably the drain holes for the spill-resistant keyboard as here are holes probably here left and right where I guess the residual liquid runs through from the keyboard in case you spill something on it, you know the differences between proper engineered quality computers and MacBooks So far still higher performance after fresh boot. 2.5 and dual channel. Yeah, not perfect for whatever reason. Maybe we started a nap in between. Or if we are still pre-warmed. Yeah, second dual channel memory run expectedly higher. 556 
So performance was a little bit irritated from starting Windows. I guess one always should wait some minutes to allow Windows to settle down. So 551, now we got 556, that is maybe a new record here. And final GL run. So yeah, but I did not try this once. I tried this 10 times before. So before 10 times, this dual channel performance was always much slower. So was definitely not only one bad run. Again, whatever Windows has done. But to be fair, I said in the original dual channel memory that I don't see such a performance drop on Linux. So I guess I should have used my Linux experience for the initial conclusion and not some stray random Windows numbers. But that's what you get from using Windows. Stray random results. We have funny GL is now slightly down. We had 33.4 before. But that is also the thing with Intel and Max heating and throttling and the joy of modern mobile dynamic frequency scheduling and everything and also cooling system for and also cooling system for thin and light and not max performance. But that's it for today now. I have also other work to finish.